the chief executive of Iran's aviation industries organization, IAIO, Brigadier General Afshin Kajefard, has announced on Sunday that the organization plans to unveil an unmanned version of the homegrown Kahir single-seat stealth fighter aircraft on March 21st next year. According to the official, the aircraft was domestically manufactured by the IAIO and was brought up in the media about 10 years ago. The Kahir project has reached full maturity in terms of technology, but we are producing more diversified products. It means that by the middle of next year, you will see new versions of this aircraft that will be delivered to the armed forces, he said. The Kahir project will emerge as an unmanned aircraft. The official stressed that Iran has successfully defied Western nations as it relied on its own material capabilities to reach a state of full autonomy in terms of overhauling commercial aircraft and manufacturing components. We have reached a level of self-sufficiency in the field of engines so that today we can produce 10 types of engines, most of which are used on drones and cruise missiles. Of course, our defense industries have also reached self-sufficiency in designing and making heavy engines, he added. In 2013 Iran first unveiled its Kahir 313 light fighter, what appeared to be the first fully indigenous jet fighter ever produced by the country. With stealth capabilities and a tiny airframe, the platform was long derided by Western analysts as a propaganda farce by the Islamic Republic, asserting that developing such a platform was well beyond Iran's capabilities. Iran's military aviation industries however have previously surprised the West on numerous occasions, namely by developing an industry capable of maintaining its US-made fleet of F-5. F-4 and even the complex F-14 fighters, all of which were expected to have long been inoperable after almost 40 years of arms embargoes and an eight-year war with Iraq. Having developed a potent military aviation industry, including acquiring key technologies and production lines from post-Soviet states in the 1990s. Iran may well be in a position to see through the development of a basic light fighter, which it alleges also incorporates radar evading capabilities. The Kahir 313 is hardly an analog to the F-22 or J-20, and is more comparable to the South Korean Kai T-50 or Soviet MiG-19 in its weight, role, and capabilities. Indeed. With a profile likely too small to accommodate missiles internally, the fighter could well be an attack platform relying only on cannons similar to the MiG-19, with which it bears some similarities. The fighter is reportedly designed as a close support attack fighter, among the simplest and least costly combat aircraft types to design, which makes prospects for the platform being inducted into full service far more plausible. Whether Iran can produce an indigenous fighter, particularly one with such a unique design as the Kahir, remains to be seen. According to a statement by former Iranian Defense Minister Brigadier General Hossein Deacon in January 2018, the fighter is undergoing final pre-flight tests including conducting fast taxi runs. IHE noted that the fighter had been designed to conduct close air support missions. The general also noted that Iran's second light fighter program, the Khauser 88 light trainer, was also preparing for its first flight tests.
with critics stating that the Qahar's flight was impossible based on its dimensions, successful flight tests could win Iran a significant propaganda victory as well as being a major step towards developing capable domestic military industries. As many of the details of the Qahar F-313 program are as of yet unknown, based on the known capabilities of Iran's defense industry and on the few details of the fighter so far unveiled one can speculate what its capabilities may be. While it cannot be verified at this point whether the Qahar F-313 is or is not a genuine stealth fighter, the prospect for such a program may not be as impossible as Western and Israeli sources have claimed. Firstly one must consider Iran's substantial military industrial capabilities, which supply the vast majority of the country's defense needs independently, effectively, and an extremely low cost. Iran has, with assistance from North Korea, developed advanced missile programs capable of striking naval and ground targets across the Middle East and much of Central Asia and East Africa using advanced solid fuel technology. Iran has also produced its own surface-to-air missile systems, the Bob R-373 being the most prolific example, and can otherwise fulfill most of its defense needs independently.